So how do you remove the newsletter box, the, the opt-in box from the footer on BigCommerce? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a scorner just like you, and I run the e-commerce growth community. There will be a link after the video if you're interested in joining. It's free. Um, and let me share my screen. All right. So this is uh, this is the demo store that I'm looking at right now. And this is what we're talking about right here is the subscribe to our newsletter. And you would think that they would just put a setting in the customizer to just remove it, but they don't. So what you're going to do instead is go to advanced and then edit theme files. That'll open up basically this right here. And it's not showing on home.html, but it is under templates, components, common footer. So this is your file that powers your whole footer. And if you're on a different theme, if you're not on Cornerstone, it might be in a different spot, but it's probably somewhere along these lines. All right, so when we go into the footer, up here we have a banner section followed by the actual footer here. And here's where the container is for all the columns. And then you'll see this is a column here that has social links. Here's one that has your navigation uh, menu items. Here's one that has your categories. And you can just look at the the little thing in each section and say, okay, this is showing my categories. This is showing my pages. This is showing my brands. This is showing my address and my phone number. And then we come to this one right here, which happens to be the last in the cornerstone footer of the articles. And it says um, newsletter subscription. If the settings for show newsletter box are enabled, then show the newsletter box. Otherwise show well, show payment icons, whether it does or does not. And so um, while they don't expose this, you can come in here and just, I, I wouldn't delete this. I would just comment it out. And the way to do that with stencil is to hit uh, curly bracket, curly bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash. And that starts the commenting and then go to where you want to end the commenting and hit dash dash in curly bracket in curly bracket and <clears throat> basically everything in between is just going to be commented out so it won't show up on the page anymore and that will basically do it you gotta hit apply and when you're using the the stencil theme editor it does take a minute or two for the changes that you make to actually show up on the site so it'll take a good you know 20 seconds to actually save the change and then it'll take another two or three minutes after that for it to actually show up on the front end and it is painfully slow this is why developers like using stencil local because it's so much faster okay so that change is saved let's refresh it we'll refresh it a couple of times oh there you go it disappeared already so you can see because i only commented out the newsletter box i didn't comment out the whole article that the payment icons are still showing there and so that's showing right there where those are so hopefully you guys found this helpful if you did give me a like and if you guys are new at e-commerce consider checking out my uh, course links up there and it'll be in the description also be sure to join our com our community at, at joinecommercegrowth.com and see you guys on the next one thank you so much